morning you guys okay um hunter is on a work call right now and i am working on some whole 30 food prep we are it's about to be lunchtime, so i'm putting together these uh spicy tuna sweet potato cakes that i got the recipe from nom nom paleo they're the best tuna cakes my sister showed them to me when we did the whole 30 like very first time and i love them they're like I don't know just a really good staple and hunters obsessed with them too so i'm prepping them right now i wanted to show you guys so i basically just made two sweet potatoes and you mash it up and then we're going to chop some cilantro green onion jalapeno some eggs and then the tuna and some ghee and put it all together first we have to line the tin with some ghee so that nothing sticks so I just melted this in the microwave and I'm gonna paint all of these. Got my batter and I'm just going to dish it into the tin. Fill them up. Okay, we have lots of dishes that need to be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, actually, I need to unload this first. I did it at the kitchen and the sweet potato cakes are done. Oh yes, they're so good. Mm. Okay, I'm making lunch and I just mixed some mixed greens and dino kale. I cut it up. And I got this dressing at the store just in the case I was too lazy and didn't want to make my own dressings. This is um, a lemon turmeric like vinaigrette with avocado oil from Primal Kitchen, which is all like Whole30 friendly. So I'm going to toss that and then put the tuna cakes on top for a little protein. I'm going to do some um, pumpkin seeds. They're some crushed plantain chips. I'm going to try and get some of the crumbs just for a little crunch. And then I'll put a little tuna cake on the side. I'll give Hunter two. And we'll do some everything but the bagel seasoning. I just got in a new shipment from Fabletics, which I am very excited about because I need a little boost for working out. And I feel like looking cute and cute activewear always makes me like, I like want an excuse to wear it. So then it like makes me excited to like work out or more likely to. Um, I think that's true for everybody. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the pieces. I have the first look on right here. This is the first one. It's like this white set, which white sets are super hard to find because they usually are not very flattering on the bottoms or they're kind of see-through or something, but these are nice and thick. They're super like cinched in. They have this nice band that makes them really flattering and this cute little detail at the ankle. And then a matching twist front crop top that's long sleeve, but it's not like thick or heavy. So still really lightweight um, and perfect for the winter time. Look number two, this is like a little navy set, more of like a full length legging, super simple and sleek, which I love. I wear a small and everything by the way, um, but the back has this kind of cool, is it lattice or lattice? I don't know, detailing, but kind of gives like a little poke of something um, and little detail from behind, even though it's just like super simple on the front. So I really like this one. I like the navy. It's like a good switch up from black, but you know, gives a little bit of color. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Julia, I don't normally go for color, but I think this is like a really beautiful kind of purple violet. And it's not like so obnoxious where it bothers me. I think it's actually just a really beautiful color. So I just say that personally because I'm not like a huge color person, but I think it's fun to do it in active wear. It's like a good moment to incorporate color. So I love this sports bra. It's like layered with a couple different layers, different colors, and I love the band. It's really cool. And this is like a really comfortable sports bra. The back looks like that. And then it has this band down the side and these are their power hold leggings i'm pretty sure which are some of my favorite one of their signature styles and they really like hold everything in they're amazing really comfortable and like heavy duty so this set together is super cute and such a beautiful color i really love it and lastly i actually love this look i 
don't wear a lot of red at all, but I was so drawn to this particular set and I think a red for the gym is really cute. And I love the detailing on this top. It's so cool. Let me turn around so you can see. It's kind of like this, like, almost looks like crochet. It gives me like, kind of like a bohemian vibe. I just love it. It's super unique and it actually is like pretty long, but I tucked it up because I wanted to have a little bit of space in between. So if you're a little bit taller, I feel like this will be perfect. This is also like a completely like, kind of seamless feel. It's like very stretchy and beautiful. And then here are the leggings. They are so flattering, super simple, just red and they match perfectly. So really fun set. I think it's so cute. We'll have all of these looks linked in the description box below. If you like to get new workout gear really often or you are a workout junkie, I feel like joining the VIP program, I've said before, is such a good deal because you get two leggings for $24 when you sign up, which is an absolute steal. And they always have deals for their VIP members so you can get full looks all the time and like update your activewear wardrobe. So Thank you so much to Fabletics for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. And let's get back into the vid. I think like all I've shown is like food today. So sorry, that's like, I feel like life on the whole 30 is like literally just so much cooking. It's insane. So I'm doing these kind of like salmon salad bowls tonight with roasted veggies. So I'm gonna do a little avocado oil. I've got raw cauliflower and broccoli right here. And I'm just gonna kind of toss those. Okay, can I use this? Oh, this has sugar in it. I can't use it. Okay. Um, a bit of salt. This has salt. Are you doing laundry? Uh, just Putting these in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. You really are. Julia said she didn't know how to make almond butter. <laughs> You're such a faker, I swear. <laughs> I'm kidding, Julia asked me to make almond butter. And I said I didn't know how, I was kidding with her. You just can't put honey in it, remember? I can put a little bit of honey. No, that's not a little sweetener. I mean, okay. I'm already over this. Stop. I am. It's so easy. It's like, I, this is the, the, the psychological part is the hardest because it's like, I don't know. It's like you, you start to want things that you don't normally want. What do you want? I don't know, anything. <laughs> I'm just like, I know that I can't go get a cracker. I can't get like a Skittle or something. And a like, Skittle? When do you eat Skittles? I don't eat, I don't eat Skittles, but that's what I'm saying. Here. It's like, I want like, if you could actually make the almond butter, that'd be great because I could have almond butter and banana. That would be really you can only nice. have half a banana. But I feel like I eat, I'll eat, I I eat more on the whole 30. I was about to eat all banana and I was like, you can only have half of that. I feel like I eat I more pissed. on the whole 30. You don't. Because I feel deprived. But, but I'm not. You're not. But step one in making good almond butter is to not eat all the almonds but as more. you're preparing. I already roasted them in the oven. We got well, them raw. I put them on a pan until I just. You didn't do anything, stop. Anytime that Hunter's pretending like I've did not done something and he's done it, it's because he hasn't done it. You no, that's what pretending is. What do you mean? Pretending. The definition of pretending is saying something that's not true. As a joke. Right. There's a couple like bad ones in here. They're fine. They don't go down the sink either. You gotta put them in the trash. We'll grind up. Okay, but for real, almond butter. We used to make this a lot. The key ingredient, Vitamix. All right, babe? Right. This is so good, we haven't made this in so long. It's so good, huh? You put in the almond. Into your mouth. And then you put it in the blender. Do a little almonds at a time. Otherwise, it can get clogged. Yeah. Right now, all that's in there is almonds, and you can see what after you roast them, the natural oils will come out of the almonds. So it's already essentially almond butter, 
without any added ingredients. But when you add is a touch of oil. We should probably add our good oil. Do we have any left? We should do the avocado oil. That's okay. I said I think you need oil. Huh. You're supposed to put a little bit. Yeah, avocado. Do we not have any more of the good olive oil from Israel? No. A splash of oil just to give it a little bit more like wetness, I guess. And then cinnamon is key. You'd be surprised how much oh, oil store-bought nut butters have in them. And crap. Oh, yeah. There you have it, folks. That's it. Okay, don't want to be my taste tester? Yeah. Mm. It's good, huh? The cinnamon. I feel like it even could use some more. There's more in there than you think, but remember, it gets more flavor as it gets cold. Does it need more oil? I can taste the cinnamon. No, we're good. Normally, when you're not on the Whole30, it's really good to add honey. Honey is like the nice like sweetener to it, just like a little bit of it. We're trying to be more strict this go round, or at least I am. Julie can go her own way. Shut up. What do you got over here? So, I'm making a salad with this dressing, I this has been really nice because it's like already prepped. Who's calling me? Hold on. Um, and it's Whole30 friendly. And then this Dijon mustard I found with no sugar. So I mix those together to make like a Dijon. And then I'm going to add onion and tomato on top. But we're going to do salmon and, Salad. and roasted veggies and avocado. Yum. Yeah. Did you tell your the person calling you to hold on? Because you go, hold on. And then you I, kept talking. I, I so I'm a little curious. I wanted to stop and oh, ask that question. Exactly. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, we've got Look roasted at that veggies. Garden. These are a cooking. Mm -hmm. And our salmon. Let's see how the salmon's coming along. That looks done, doesn't it? Oh, Is it? Yeah, right, it's semi-pink, but that looks pretty good. We got some things on Amazon that are Whole30 friendly. Nut pods, mm. which is like a creamer. You love because apparently pod. oat milk is not Whole30 friendly. Someone DM'd me that day. I was like, shoot. Oat milk is not? So it's okay. Because the no. oil or because of the oat? I think the oat, because it's a grain. So, and then arrowroot starch, which we're going to put in our soup. Mm. That's, that's it. They said we could use this as our <laughs> creamer. <laughs> Jesus, you sound like the masseuse. Perfect. Perfect, right, Goose? That's perfect, Goose. Don't you love to eat? So you top it with the veg, the onions, and the tomato. And that's it. So you toss the salad. You did olive flour and broccoli? Yes. Salmon, white onion, and tomato. That's right. You could do avocado if you want, but we already had some at lunch, so I'm trying to limit that. I am already majorly getting a sweet tooth. So this is the thing, is like, I don't even normally like sugar. I'm not like a sugar person, I don't have a sweet tooth, but when you cut it completely out of your diet, like literally, it's not in dressings, it's not in any single thing that you eat, like you start to crave it because you really like, it's an addiction. So we are having a little healthy dessert that is Whole30 compliant. This, I just made like a little fruit salad. It's um, one banana split between the two of us because you're not supposed to have more than like one piece of fruit. And then some raspberries and blueberries. And then I'm going to take the almond butter that Hunter just made and kind of drizzle it on top. And that'll be our dessert. It's like heaven right now. Mm-hmm. Wow, almond butters and <laughs> I'm saying butters. Almond butter and raspberries is like the ticket. <laughs> Probably sugar. Are you? This is all you need on the whole thirty to survive. Mm-hmm. And with some pineapple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good job on the almond butter. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I feel like 
almond butter kind of saves us on all 30. Like homemade almond butter. It really does. We like, lived off of it last time. Mm-hmm. What is this, our third time? Yeah, third. We did once in Dallas when we were living in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Remember? Yeah. I feel like it just takes a few days to get into. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we need some items from the store for this to work. Let's do it. Let's go. I have a list. Let's go. Ooh, look at that hand. Yeah! <laughs> yes. I showed Hunter this guy's Instagram and now he's reenacting him. Okay. Key. Oh, wait. We have to get these up. Here. Key, key, key. Okay, we're hitting up the Kroger. And get some items. That looks so good. Oh, no. Um, we're here to get... Survive. We're, we're in survival mode. I'm like, you guys. Here too. A what? Go here too. No, you can't. I'm kidding. This is not hard. It's not that I mean, hard. I need a piece of grapefruit. Can you get it? Just a little flavor. Yeah, but you can drink them. Flavored sparkling water has been kind of essential. Okay, we should get some fruit because now I've learned that fruit is my best mother effing friend now that I'm craving. Are there any whole fruit cereals? No. These are. <laughs> we're gonna just have to. Just until we wean off. Okay, and then berries. Oh yeah, this is what we're looking for. Okay. Ooh, power snacks, yum. Does that have sugar in it? Oh my God, yum, Hunter. Oh my God, we should get them. They don't have sugar, it's just uh, dates. Let's see what's in here. Date paste. I mean, yeah, we Wait, that's actually like this. really good. No refined sugar, dairy free. That sounds perfect. Why don't we shut up? <laughs> Can I just get it? We already don't tell anyone. Shh. We're leaving early. Um, why did you get so much ginger? For ginger shots. Oh, you're gonna make ginger shots? Yeah. Nice. Right? I already told you that. Um, no, I didn't know what you were gonna do. I'm like, why is he in so much ginger? Oh, was there one on there? They just like the same one. We got the goods. We got the goodies. And you know what I'm gonna do right now? It's time block our schedule for tomorrow so that we get a few things done that we need to get done. Well, I have like six or seven calls tomorrow. What time do your calls start? They're all like they're all like shorter calls tomorrow, but we should block off the morning and the afternoon so we can film. Okay. We need to film fruits and chips tomorrow. Yeah, what time? Let's film that in the morning over coffee. Agree. What time do you want to film that? Should we try and film like at eight? Eight is fine, because it takes like 30 minutes. Eight to eight thirty, okay. and then my first call is at nine. So then, and then I'm from, pretty much busy all day after that. Okay. And um, from eight thirty to nine. And then, well, but, uh, realistically, we'll probably go till nine. Well, so. my, my day starts at nine tomorrow, and it's at five thirty. Okay, so we have to film at eight, or it's like not happening. Right. Okay, great. And then maybe can we put up the Christmas tree decor after that? Oh, I forgot to get melatonin at the store. We don't need that. Um, should we try and put the Christmas tree up tonight? Yeah, um, or is that too good? Well, we can either do that or put the um, Adirondack chairs together. I'm going to do that tonight. Okay. That's like a fun thing, I feel like, until when we get everything done that we need to get done. Sure. You know? The Christmas tree, though, I don't, I'm still not quite sure where you want that to go. Like, I don't think much of it's going to fit in that bag, and I don't know how. Nor do I want to stuff it. I have like cuts and crap with my hands. I don't want those things like hitting my cuts. Well, we <laughs> should. No. We could put it in the box. I saved the box. I'm gonna put it in the attic. It's probably kind of heavy to get up there, huh? And um, we could put it up there. Oh, it was heavy. Remember? It was, yeah. Like, super heavy. Why don't we just keep it down low and then we can put the ornaments and stuff up? We can put it on the bar. Yeah, that's fine. I just, I just, I cleaned up the garage a little bit recently. I put yeah, all the rugs I saw the that. Bar. That was really good. We're about to get home and go to sleep. Actually, we're about to get home and put the Christmas tree away, most likely. Then get in bed. 
and that's the end of our vlog so we'll see you tomorrow see you in the next vlog or the next vid whichever one comes next we actually will probably be vlogging tomorrow because we have some very exciting things happening that we haven't even told you about we do that's right oh yeah we'll be back with another vlog soon that's right so hope you guys enjoyed this one we love you see you soon bye why don't you get it by now tell me what you learned in grade school Give it to me like you want it Did you forget that golden rule? What is our love at one-sided? It should really be give and take